Hello and welcome back. I make short videos because my internet's crappy, so longer videos won't load. But that works because you have a two minute, under under two minute, thirty minute, thirty second guide on how to breed. First thing you need is a Destiny Knot and Everstone. These can be found at a, at the Battle Royale Dome for forty eight BP each. A Destiny Knot helps you transfer five IVs from both parents onto the the baby. And that's good because IVs, they're individual values, they're essentially the DNA of the Pokemon you need to transfer them. You need to have a Pokemon with good IVs, you can have six, uh, six, in, sorry, six IVs of 32 each, which is the maximum that you can get. Uh, and you need to try to transfer them from one Pokemon onto the other. Uh, you could get a Destiny Knot from the Battle Royale, or you could get it from... Um, a pickup Pokemon. My pickup Pokemon is Lilip, and I have received Destiny Knot from him, but it needs to be at a very high level. So I got it from mine when it was uh, like 92 or something. Uh, the second thing you need is an Everstone to pass down the nature. Natures of Pokemon's uh, Pokemon, what they do is they up by 10% one specific value. So if you have a physical attack of Pokemon, you can up the attack by 10% and then it lowers something else. You can just figure out play with that a little bit, figure out what you want high on your Pokemon, what you want low on it, and whether you want it at all, because there are some some natures that have neutral values, they don't up either way. Then you go to the Paniola branch, and you put a ditto or a male and a female of the species that you want to breed into it. Pokemon Sun and Moon has made it very easy to have an unlimited loop, all you need to do is go to this area, have a Taurus, and just keep on going around until the lady tells you you can hatch your eggs. Do that when you have a one IV Pokemon, try to breed it with the other, then get to the three, four, five, six is a little harder, but it can be done, so it's well worth it to do it. Why not have a perfect Pokemon when you're nearly there? Then you go after you're, after you hatched 20 eggs, the Pokemon the game decides whether or not you're a serious breeder, and then there's a judge in this location where I'm standing right now. Uh, he essentially tells you what the IVs of your Pokemon are. Uh, after you've hatched 20 eggs, what he does is he opens that option in your Pokemon box. And that's it for this under 2 minute 30 second video. Enjoy, thank you, take care.